Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Age of Origins at Wacko Rush Gaming. First, there was the Battle Frenzy, where it is a mayhem of a kill event that was only within your nation. During Battle Frenzy, no troops are killed as all wounded troops are sent to the hospital. The event hospital has no wounded limit and healing would not cost any resources other than time. No resources will be plundered or refugees killed and the enemies killed won't be counted towards the kill ranking. After the event, all wounded troops will be fully recovered. However, after the first void event in your nation, and then there will be the strongest frenzy commander event. It is basically a combination of the strongest commander and battle frenzy. Added with the bonus, it is a cross nation event. The all new strongest frenzy commander event will last for 7 days and you will fight other commanders from other nations. It is split into multiple phases with every phase lasting for at least one day. Phases will unlock according to different content and order, however there is a clear pattern. Here you will find the possibility of the event order in this format. First combination, construction, soldier, gathering, zombie. Second combination, construction, soldier, zombie, gathering. Third combination, gathering, construction, soldier, zombie. Fourth combination, gathering, soldier, construction, zombie. Fifth combination, zombie, construction, soldier, gathering. And the sixth combination, zombie, gathering, construction, soldier. For example, in Nation 799, we started with zombie for two days. Then it is pretty clear our event order will either be combination 5 or combination 6. It was gathering on Wednesday, thus we are certain the event order will be based on option 6. So while this is a cross nation event, the rules are just the same as the Battle Frenzy which I have explained earlier. Nation 799 are pitted against Nation 803 and it does look like we are winning but don't be confused by this. As always, the most amount of points are made on the kill event stage, yet the event rewards for winning nation is not great at all. Then you also have the alliance points with my alliance the watch also commonly referred to STNW ranking 3rd currently. There are also rewards for alliance ranking for this event. Yet again, the rewards for the alliance ranking is also not that great. Finally, there is also the individual points and after spending so much, the ranking rewards are a drop in the ocean in comparison on how much someone would have spent to achieve the relevant rankings. So chasing the rankings, it's just to get your name on the board for personal gratification, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, during each phases, you can get milestone rewards after your individual points meet the conditions. To be honest, I think this is the most decent rewards out of everything. For each small effort, I would recommend everyone to ensure they can hit the milestone rewards at the bare minimum. After each phases is over, the top commander in the current phase ranking will get the phase ranking rewards. I mean, I'm sorry, but look at what does rank 1 get. So I'm not sure about you, but I'm not excited about it at all. When the battle frenzy kill event arrives, that's really the best when you have the opportunity to go hunting without any risk of losing any troops. I've previously made a video on this, so if you want to know more, you can check it out on the link above, or alternatively, you can check it out on the link below. When the battle frenzy kill event does arrive, both sides can cross into each other's nation. There are some really big castles around so I would highly recommend shielding until you're online. I mean, why give the enemy nation free points and in addition to that, you are going to end up spending a lot of healing speeds before the battle even starts. Separately, when you're indeed engaged in these battles, don't forget to turn on your city buffs including the battle fog. There will be many big castles that will try to speed attack your city whilst you may be busy attacking another city. Make sure you're only keeping one march in your city and this being the march you'll be using to attack other cities whilst the remaining marches are either fake rallying or sent to farms somewhere far away. This is a good idea especially since troops that are attacked while gathering at resource tiles will only get you or the opponent 50% of the points. So losing troops or using speed ups to heal for less points doesn't seem like a great return. Nevertheless, I know that some folks do it anyway, so it's an easy way to get points if you see that opportunity, especially if your troops are superior to your opponents whom are farming. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I will share the Battle Frenzy kill event video as I am indeed excited to cross and have some fun. If you like my videos, please do smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bells for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.